So here we are with the new updated chrono plotter. Uh, it's been a few months now since I did my last video on this, and I've been in contact with the developer uh, over that time, helping give some input, as, uh, as some, uh, some other people have. And I wanted to kind of show what some of the new things are, and it's really pretty great. Uh, he's added in uh, pro chrono files as well as the manual data files, which the manual data enter is really cool. So we're going to come back to that in a minute. Uh, we still have uh, seating depth, but uh, he has entered a shot marker file and a manual data entry. So the manual data entry would just be uh, where uh, we've gone in the past for seating depth. But you can actually go into your shot marker files. And if you shoot, and I'll do a video on this later, but if you do uh, groups on your shot marker, you can actually pull them up and it will automatically import them all and graph them, which is really, really cool. So let's go back to the powder charge. And I'm just going to show you this one, which is the manual data entry. And before I kind of would have to cheat on, uh, I would use the seating depth one, and then I would just kind of mimic what was going on. It was kind of a pain, but with this one here, so I'm just, I'm just looking at my uh, my phone right now with some save data because I don't have my actual SD card from the lab radar. And so in this particular case, I'm just going to go ahead and put in, um, in fact, I'll do the auto fill here. So we're going to go 53.5. We're going to go intervals of 0.3 and we're going to increase. And, um, and it would help if I put in the right amount. Okay, 53.5. And 0.3 increments, 54.7. So I, I think that was as high as I went. So we're going to get rid of these two. OK. And so here's what I've got. So I've entered in 53 here. And I'm just going to put in my average. And so I can either put in a, a string of numbers, or I can just put in the average. And it'll, it'll do whatever I want. In this particular case, I'm just going to put the averages in. But if I really wanted to look at the SD spreads and stuff like that, it would calculate them along the way, which is, is really a pretty cool feature. Uh, so in this particular one, I'm just going to say 2766. And then if I move to my next series, we're at 2787. 2800. 2825. And 2829. Okay. And now, just like before, I can choose other things over here. In this particular case, there's no ES or SD to show because I didn't enter multiple values. Um, but I do want to look at the velocity deltas. So here's the graph. And this is just a really crude example because I did a very, very coarse powder charge test here. Uh, but I will say this over here shot amazing on target. So that's where I'm going to load to. Uh, but anyway, that's all there is to it. It, uh, you know, it really couldn't be simpler. Um, and uh, I think it's a great update. So I'll do one on the shot marker data here uh, coming up soon. But uh, that's it. Have a good one. We'll talk later.